Welcome to the Total Connected Show. My name is Kevin Davani. I have a very special guest today. It's Pavle. Uh, the, uh, how should I? Well, I'm going to introduce you as a representative spokesperson of the BTC Pay Server, which I think is one of the most, you know, well-known and branded and really reliable, trustworthy uh, Bitcoin payment processing provider. Okay, Pablo, why don't you just, you know, go ahead, you have the stage, introduce yourself a little bit about your background, how you came to Bitcoin, maybe even for the folks out there. And uh, yeah, and what is BTC Pay all about? Yeah, sure. So uh, my name is Pavle. People in Bitcoin community know me as Pavlenex or Bitcoin Shirt. I will talk maybe later why it's Bitcoin Shirt. And uh, I'm contributor to BTC Pay server. And uh, because I'm not that good at coding stuff, I do interviews so that other guys who know how to code have time to code on BTC Pay. So uh, you asked what BTC Pay is. Basically, BTC Pay is open source, free uh, cryptocurrency payment processor. Uh, it's also for individuals and also for businesses, so anyone can use it. Uh, like any open source software, it can be uh, deployed on any virtual machine or even Raspberry Pi from GitHub. And from there, you can just use it. Basically, when you use BTC Pay, you are your own payment processor. So you're processing payments yourself and uh, basically doing everything yourself. So you're acting like BitPay. When you deploy BTC Pay, you become a payment processor. So you can use it either for your store or for your friend's store. It does not matter. And uh, BTC Pay uh, started in, uh, I think it was August 2017. Um, founder of BTC Pay is Nicolas Dorier. So he founded BTC Pay because he was so annoyed with BitPay and the way they handled the B2X. So they tried to enforce some rules on the Bitcoin network or act as bosses of the Bitcoin network. And that does not work in that way in Bitcoin. So he basically created, uh, forked uh, their API. So just, I will just want to explain that BTC Pay has nothing to do with BitPay itself. So we just have compatible, compatible API with BitPay, which means you can, if you're using BitPay, you can very easily switch to BTC Pay. And that's about it. People usually think that we are some sort of clones, but we are not. So it's completely different technology from what uh, BitPay has. Okay, you know, um, yeah, thank you so much for this explanation. Uh, you know, um, I've come across because I've been uh, just recently to this uh, Anon Blockchain Summit 2019 in Vienna, and there was uh, this other sort of, they call themselves, you know, a crypto payment processing provider, but they're not focused just on, on the, uh, they don't, uh, they have this terminal which they give to the merchants, to the yeah, store. Yeah. So I wanted, you know, to uh, f not only for myself, but for, for the folks out there who might be also be, you know, who have, might have an online store, a real store, like a, or a, some kind of merchant business. Um, what is like to, to learn, to understand what's the differentiation? I mean, with BTC Pay, you don't need a terminal as far as I understood it, right? So, you don't need some kind of gadget or anything, right? So BTC Pay is a software, it's a technology stack, which gives you technology to become a payment processor. Um, you can run that code uh, if you want, you can uh, integrate it in whatever you want. So if you have uh, physical terminals, there are people who integrated BTC Pay in physical terminals, but uh, we specifically at BTC Pay, we have a web app, which is, uh, you basically uh, launch your BTC Pay and you can launch a web app on it. And you can, you know, uh, have a point of sale system from your phone or, but we're working also maybe in future on a mobile app, which will be easier. But uh, there are no physical, if that's what you mean, there are no physical hardware or point of sale for now. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, um, I guess the question also arises, you know, it's about mass adoption and, and it's about education. So, you know, we got to have, I guess a lot of empathy with with the people out there most people you know they're conditioned or used to the old system so and when top of that when you have like regulatory taxing issues and you have you know all kinds of regulations and regulatory compliance um i mean 
do when merchants approach you guys what do you how do you explain it to them when they you know when they say okay you know what i need to keep you know keep my things in order i need to you know issue receipts uh uh you know process it in a tax compliant way um what's what are the complications what are what if a problem arises i mean how do you how do you how do you how do you interact with these potential you know uh, let's say users or cost clients of yours. Yeah. So I just want to clarify that BTC Pay is not a company. It's basically just an open source software group of people. Maybe let's call it open organization of developers, enthusiasts. So we are just gathered uh, together. We are, we are not a company. So uh, specifically, when merchant approaches us, uh, there are no uh, any sort of uh, AML or KSC requirements, which you need to do b because you're your own payment processor and you're enforcing rules. So mm -hmm. if you want to KSC yourself, you can do it if you want, but you are your own payment processor. You control the entire system. So it's up to you what you want to do. Uh, using it's BTC really, Pay. Really totally decentralized, right? Yeah, it's completely, yeah. It, yeah that's, it, that's basically, really BTC Pay, yeah, yeah. It, is, it is a piece of software on GitHub which you can, uh, you know, clone on whichever machine you want. We uh, specifically late, uh, lately configured uh, uh, running BTC Pay on Raspberry Pi. It's such a low power device in which you can have entire payment processing stack. So you can have your own full node in, in a box, basically, when you're running uh, BTC Pay. Wonderful. Okay. Do you have like, I mean, have you heard back from merchants or people who have an online store who, who you know, who are sort of from the old school and might have, you know, given you some kind of testimonial or report or some kind of feedback, how the experience is, it, what's the experience with, you know, with them, with the merchants and the, you know, and their customers. Is there, do you have guys have any like of experience testimonials you, you, you receive back? Well, uh, we have a huge community. We have community on Slack. There are like a uh, thousand people out there, I think. We have community on Telegram. We have community on Mattermost. So uh, lots of people interacting together, helping each other. And yes, indeed, there, are there, are, there is feedback from merchants. And based on uh, whatever feedback we get, we improve software. So currently, uh, our culture in BTC Pay is uh, focused on making uh, BTC Pay the best for people who currently use it. So we want to make best technology for them. And from there, as mass adoption comes in, we'll, of course, modify it and make it easier and easier and easier to run, to use and everything else. Mm -hmm. Wow, wonderful. Um, what about the, you know, the rate of speed um, during a transaction? I mean, you guys have any experience? How, how, I mean, if I come with my mobile wallet, with my Samurai wallet to a yeah, merchant yeah. who has a, you know, BTC, is on the BTC platform uh, or, or uses this, you know, uses your, your um, how should I put it, your, 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 your system, your our software, yeah. Your software, I'm sorry. Um, what's, what's the experience? How fast? I mean, you know, what kind of? Well, yeah, that, that's a great question. So BTC Pay is the first payment processor which integrated Lightning Network. So we were the first to integrate it. Oh, that's what so, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. so, so that is Lightning Fast. Uh, wow. uh, transactions with Lightning Network are instantly confirmed. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's basically great for physical or people who use BTC Pay in retail. Of course, there are lots of there needs to be lots of progress in Lightning Network itself, such as channel backs, backups and stuff like that. But so far, we had uh, amazing feedback from people using Lightning Network in production. Uh, specifically, uh, the online store that I have, because uh, in BTC Pay, we all have some sorts of stores to dog food, you know, to get feedback ourselves, how yeah. BTC Pay works. So I have this store, bitcoinshirt.co. And uh, I was also one of the first 10 or 15 people to accept Lightning Network. So that's really? crazy. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting. Okay. And uh, p uh, feedback has been really amazing. People, uh, uh, right now, I think that 70% of transac transactions in my store are Lightning Network. Amazing. Wow. Yeah, wow. that's great. But also that's the way we market Bitcoin shirt. You know, it's a... Uh, 
Lightning Network Store and of course it attracts that kind of uh, customers, very specific hardcore Bitcoiners and that's probably the reason. I do not think that uh, there are stores who have uh, that large percentage of customers using Lightning Network for now. Mm -hmm. But Lightning Network solves uh, tons of problems uh, for merchants specifically. For instance, there is just uh, one invoice which you need to copy Whereas when you where you're paying with Bitcoin, if you want uh, on chain, sorry, if you're paying on chain, you need to copy the address and also the amount, and sometimes that uh, causes the trouble uh, in where customers enter wrong amounts, uh, wrong addresses, and with Lightning, that's basically does not happen. Exactly, because you know you got the uh, you know it's pretty automated, and you know you got your QR code, right? Yeah, 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 Scan yeah. It and you want to go into detail a little bit? I mean, I'm reading through these features or I don't know, you know, what it is about, what, you know, these points on your, on the website. Would you like me to talk a little bit, uh, what's under the hood of, of BTC Pay, yeah, maybe? Yeah, please. Uh -huh. So when you deploy BTC Pay, um, you get a full Bitcoin core node. You get a database, uh, Postgres SQL. Uh, we also, you, you get uh, MB Explorer that is, um, a lightweight internal uh, explorer which tracks Bitcoin payments for you. Basically, it tracks UTXO for you. Mm -hmm. uh, furthermore, you get Lightning Network node when you deploy BTC Pay server. And um, on top of that, of course, uh, you get uh, Nginx as a reverse proxy. And also, we automatically have a Let's Encrypt certificate so that uh, people can uh, access your BTC Pay through encrypted uh, connection and uh, recently we also integrated tor really? so if you want okay. yeah if Great. you want to run btc pay as a hidden service you can do that it was very very pretty easy i think to integrate it mostly because nicola doria is genius when coding so i i think that's why it was so easy what was the, what were the, the challenges in the beginning i mean uh, do you want to tell us about the story like how the whole the whole process evolved and developed like what were the challenges? How long did it yeah, take? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So Nicola was so annoyed with BitPay that he uh, created this software for some of the clients he had. So it was really not uh, that big at first. So it started very small and there was uh, one merchant, uh, Coin Cards Canada. He joined and there was just uh, him, Nicola and a few other people. And from there, the community grew. I joined, few other people joined, and we, you know, communicated, fixed things. Uh, I mean, at first, it costed $60 to run BTC Pay mm -hmm. because it was so unoptimized. It was huge, you know. Uh, we did not have guides for people. And it, it I mean, uh, it was pretty expensive. But now you can, <laughs> I mean, you can run it on Raspberry Pi. So even if you want to deploy it on any virtual private machine, it can be three, four, five dollars a month. Or you can run it, of course, in your own server infrastructure. So it can be run for uh, uh, on nodes at home, mm -hmm. on machines at home, but also on enterprise grade servers, whichever you prefer. So mm -hmm. uh, um, a large companies can use BTC Pay, but also tiny people, regular people can use BTC Pay to pay and get paid in Bitcoin. Amazing. You know, uh, I mean, I'm, I see myself, I consider myself also as an educator, uh, a speaker what, on Bitcoin or Austrian economics. And, and, yeah. and, and what is so crucial, what is so essential is the, you know, for mass education, for mass adoption, for really the process of comprehension and the, and the ability to see, to understand the, the huge potential of Bitcoin is, of course, the, you know, the user friendliness. And, yeah. it's, you know, it's, this, this has been, a, you know, a, a point of talk in a lot of podcasts and, and uh, with a lot of, you know, Bitcoiners, Austin Economics and, and you know, spokespeople like uh, now, this is what I like, you know, when you see this website, you have, um, I mean, it's, it, I haven't tried it out, to be honest, because, you know, uh, I just wanted, you know, to acquaint myself a little bit and get your insight, your expertise on it. But it seems to be pretty much self-explanatory. I mean, if people like, you know, from traditional, uh, let's say, business uh, come over here and, you know, they go, over, you know, go on your website and they want to install the BTC. How, first of all, how long does it take to, you said, you know, you, 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 can, you can install the Lightning node. How, how long does this whole process take? I mean, 
So uh, to specifically clone and deploy BTC Pay, it is uh, around five to 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But then uh, the biggest challenge is that your full node needs to sync from Genesis block up until now. Okay. And we did lots of optimization there and it takes one or two days to sync your node uh, to be able to use BTC Pay. And that's very not user-friendly. I mean, people do not want to wait. And uh, we created, Nicola specifically created uh, this solution called FastSync, which allows your node, uh, I, I'm not sure if I'll be correct technically on this, but basically uh, it, it allows your node to download the, the snapshot of UTXOs from a trusted node, which is not perfect from trust perspective, but you can sync your full Bitcoin node in uh, five minutes, I think, or 10 or an hour, I'm not sure. Wow. Okay, amazing. But yeah. That's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for people who are uh, who have a business, all right, uh, or my girlfriend who had a business, um, uh, most mostly online business. Uh, I mean, I think the first the first con uh, question or concern I can imagine is about you know how do I do my accounting? How do I you know uh, how do I keep myself? Uh, I mean, she's got her own tax advisor. How do I keep myself sort of? Uh, you know, regulatory tax compliance. So uh, you have this button accounting made easy with QuickBook integration and invoice export. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that it with the instructional? Yeah, button? correct. Yeah. One of our contributors created this uh, BTC Pay and QuickBook integration for those who use uh, QuickBook. So everything is basically integrated and everything is there for you in QuickBooks. But also we have invoice export. So you can export your invoices uh, from BTC Pay and in CSV or JSON and whichever format you want, and then you can add them to your accounting software. And from there you can do your own accounting. Great, this is just great, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you wanna go uh, over some of the other points or bulletin points? Or, 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 sure, you know, sure, so maybe we should talk a little bit about features and what can you do with BTC Pay, for example. So one of the simplest ways to use BTC Pay is to have a payment button. So we have this payment button, you install your BTC Pay, you create, a, oh, sorry, I forgot to talk, to talk about one very important thing. And that is that uh, uh, for, to use BTC Pay, you do not need to add your private keys anywhere. So it is completely non-custodial. Uh, the only thing that you need to add is your uh, public key, XPUB. And from there, BTC Pay derives addresses and payments go directly to your wallet. So if you have a ledger hardware wallet, payment goes directly to your wallet from your buyer to to you. So there are no fees. Can I ask you, I mean, does it generate automatically every time a new address, which would be advantages? You know, that is correct. There are no address reuse, which is a huge, huge privacy, yeah. you know, privacy it's thing. Out of everything, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's... Trial and error, I guess, too, right? <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, it's just common sense to use and make uh, yeah. address reuse easier for people to use and understand. So yeah, that's a huge privacy advantage. Thanks for reminding me about that. Yeah, because you know people are concerned about trackability, and you know I mean we've, we've heard a lot of times, hey, generate a new address every time we, whether you're in an exchange or something like that. So at least it's you know it's not it's much more difficult to uh, track. Yes, or yes to, uh, because because as a merchant. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Okay. Because as a merchant, you're also responsible for your customers, not just your own privacy. And that is why BTC Pay is good, because it's a private solution uh, for you, but also for your customers, because all the transactions are validated by your own full node. There are no yeah. leaks. And I mean, Beautiful. it's a huge privacy thing. It's I think that uh, we made BTC Pay to be just uh, like Bitcoin should be. You know, private, peer-to-peer, -peer, no intermediaries, no fees, and no third parties. So exactly. that's, that's our, if, if you want, to, I can tell, that's our selling point, of course. We don't sell anything, but those are some of the yeah, features. Yeah, but it's a that, unique feature of you and unique yes, selling and, proposition. I mean, non-custodial, private, secure. I, even if your BTC pay gets hacked in a way, uh, nobody can take your your Bitcoin because your Bitcoin is in your cold storage, your ledger, for for example, or in your wallet. So there is no way for someone to steal your Bitcoin. 
if they hack your BTC yeah. Pay. As the name implies, BTC Pay server, you only, um, I, I mean, I assume you're only, this is just about Bitcoin, right? You, I mean, this is what makes you probably, you know, somehow sympathetic to, um, right? Or, so or Bitcoin do you... maximalists. No, actually, yeah, there are, uh, I think, around 10, 10 coins in BTC Pay. Yeah. Uh, there is a widget there, I think. Um, which see. lists all of the coins. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I don't use altcoins myself, but uh, there is a yeah. list of. Uh, well, you would. Uh, would you also like use? I don't know. Some people are big fans. Uh, whatever for whatever reason, for Dash. I mean, I understand the you know the reasons, but uh, or Litecoin. And this is, I guess, the these other crypto payment processing providers. They adv advertise that. You know, they they, they say yeah, that yeah. you know you can use Bitcoin, Dash, Litecoin. You know, I think it there should be choice. It should be a freedom of choice of selection. Why not? I mean, as Andreas Antonopoulos always said, why not? You know, there can be in the future it could be like hundred thousand of coins, but eventually the final settlement layer is gonna be Bitcoin. I mean, it's just it's just a fact. Yeah. You know, because it's it's the one and only hardest and store of value. Yeah, I agree with you. And that is, in a way, our philosophy. Uh, we do not integrate uh, our altcoins ourselves. So BTC Pay developers work on Bitcoin, Lightning and BTC Pay itself. But we allow people to add and maintain altcoins if they want to, because we do not want to be gatekeepers in a way in a way if we forbid people to use altcoins, we would be uh, the same as BitPay is forcing some rules to others. So we give people freedom and it is on you to use it or not to use it. So uh, yeah, that, that is the oh, list yeah, of yeah, some yeah, of the, yeah. Dash and blah, blah, Litecoin, yeah. Well, yeah, it's, you know, great. Yeah. And, and Dash, you know, their developers integrated this. We do not have any effort on our part. They integrated it and they maintain because it. Because it's open source, right? <laughs> yeah, and it's completely opt-in. I want to clarify, yeah. when you deploy BTC Pay, you get Bitcoin and Lightning Network. If you want, you can add those altcoins but also you're running their nodes, which means that you need a bigger machine and that costs more. So in a way it compensates uh, that you need to pay more if you want to use uh, altcoin because uh, you need to have bigger or better specs of your machine where you run BTC Pay. Yeah, you know what I find really great? I mean, you guys are really sort of, um, uh, the, the, the people behind your team, I mean, they're all working voluntary basis. So this, this does not cost anything, right? I mean, you don't have to no, buy no. anything or a term. No, nothing, man. It's completely, no, no, it's completely free. You can even fork it if you want and call it uh, k on pay, whichever you want, you know, right. and have, yeah, and have your own payment processor. Basically, we are giving you payment processing factory to use it any way you want. So you can there are people who forked BTC Pay, rename it, uh, white labeled it, and they use it to host uh, BTC Pay uh, for their local merchants. So they allow local local merchants to connect to their BTC Pay and use it as as you know like that. Because when you uh, deploy BTC Pay, uh, you can enable an option for people to use your server. Mm -hmm. So. And there is no limit on number of stores or, or number of users you can have on your BTC Pay. So if you're tech, tech savvy and you, you, you know in your community there are some stores that want to accept Bitcoin, you can deploy one BTC Pay. And then from there, they just need to create an account on a website basically to, to be able to accept Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. What are the typical questions for, you know, uh, or, you know, helping quite like, like, you know, questions for help or uh, I'm just, I'm just, you know, uh, thinking what if people, you know, have problems or are just not that technical affine? Uh, do they give you like a feedback or, or do they, what, what kind of questions do they ask you? So um, one great thing about BTC Pay is that we have all of these chats where people communicate, help each other. So there are, there are all sorts of questions. Trust me, there are some crazy technical questions, but there are also simple questions like how do I configure my wallet or, you know, how do I do accounting? And that's why we created uh, documentation for BTC Pay. I think BTC Pay is probably one of the uh, open source project with uh, best documentation. And I'm not saying that because uh, I'm the one who wrote it, but uh, we have pretty, I mean, there are also 
again, lots of people contributing to it. It's not just me, but we try to cover everything from simple questions to those technical. And we constantly up, uh, update it, you know, keep it updated. And uh, we also have a frequently asked questions page where you can list, where, where we listed all of the common asked questions from uh, what is BTC pay to some of the, you know, technically advanced questions. Well, this is great. Yeah, so you have like a community. Uh, you have like a, a, your own uh, BTC Pay uh, uh, community. Like uh, I just yeah, yeah. We have uh, Mattermost chat. Mattermost is a Slack alter alternative, which is self-hosted. So it's basically a self-hosted Slack, mm -hmm. and we we host a chat for our community, and that's where people gather, uh, exchange experiences create stuff there also also you can use btc pay if you're a developer so there are lots of developers building on btc pay and that's so much fun i mean each day something happens in btc pay it just moves so fast there are so many great people in the community it's really it makes my day to just read that chat so many great people out there no it's really i mean it, you can't it cannot be appreciated enough um, i mean just just in general speaking all the developers the core developers the cryptographers the coders programmers i mean everybody that's been like in the last 10 years working behind the scenes and behind you know your scenes behind your team it's it's just great you know to have people who 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 not, not only believe but trust in that vision and in that you know in what is in the reality of, of Obviously. Yeah, I agree. So uh, I recently wrote a tweet storm about the culture on, on, in BTC Pay. And that's exactly what, one point that I had is that people who contribute to BTC Pay, they feel like they're on a mission from God to make a world. <laughs> yeah, they are, they truly are. Because yeah, and it's not a revolution, it's an evolution. It's a totally transformational, yes. structurally, you know, changing, uh, um, you know, uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's structurally changing. This is why we're not working on some symptoms. You know, this is what's so yeah, great about right. the, so, point, the whole uh, network. Yeah, I agree. So that's why people are so passionate when they work on BTC Pay. I work on BTC Pay, I mean, many hours a day. And I don't regret it. I mean, just being able to participate, to change the world in a way, that's for me the only thing that I need. So basically... Great. Just change the world, and I do not need anything else. Pablo, are you gonna be like you and your team sometime, maybe in Vienna or some? You know, I I wanna I would would love to do like a live interview with my professional equipment. Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, I'm not sure about uh, Vienna, though. I've been to Vienna many times, but I don't know. Don't know. Maybe maybe we can arrange something. It does not cost. We have some low cost companies. I thought, you know, maybe in the course of some kind of event or, you know, what do you call it, exhibition or congress, conference or whatever it's called. Uh, sure. So I, I, I would be, I would be happy to, to join if I can, of course. So, but uh, for now we have this Honey Badger conference in Riga. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you know. And uh, from what I see, the entire BTC pay team will be there. So if you can. Right. Maybe you can come and we can talk there. But if I have a chance to come to Vienna, I'd be happy to. Yeah, yeah. Stay in touch. Well, thank you so much, Pablo. I mean, this is this is just great. You know, I mean, this is how we move forward. And 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 you know, because yesterday, um, yesterday, some people on the Austrian um, the Austrian Bitcoin uh, community, uh, they asked, you know, whether whether anybody knows anything about the BTC BTC pay. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, I'm going to have an interview with you like tomorrow, this week or whatever, you know. So, uh, so I think they're going to look, looking forward to hearing that and, uh, you know, getting more in, uh, more insight into this whole, um, you know, the, the whole uh, workings and processes of, of BTC Pay and have, you know, understanding what's the difference between us, this and other whatever yeah, centralized payment processors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think we really, we really need to get away from centralization, and uh, I can only start with myself. You know, I, 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 to be honest with you, I still don't have my own full note. You know, this is why. Uh, but I think so. One thing you need to do is deploy BTC Pay, and then you will have your own full note. So I will, I will definitely send some guides your way because we have this uh, one-click deployments. We cooperated with some hosting providers which created one-click deployment. So you do not need to know to clone from GitHub and all that stuff. You just need to click button deploy, configure your settings, and your BTC Pay is running on 
their virtual private service. So amazing. Okay, and that's how long it's going to take, like uh, with the whole setup. How did you say? Well, I, it takes five to ten minutes to deploy BTC Pay, and then it takes. Uh, it's incredible. So let's say, wow. yeah, one or two days for your node to sync if you want to fully sync it, or if you want to use the fast sync I, I mentioned, it can take uh, 10 minutes or an hour. It really depends. But you have a fully synced uh, full node when you this is deploy great. BTC. Yeah, pay. good to know. Yeah, no, let's stay in touch, Pablo. Is there anything like you want to yeah, you know, direct uh, the viewers, listeners to? I mean, I've, I've, I've shown everything, I think. Pretty yeah, much. so. To anyone who wants to accept uh, Bitcoin payments, uh, whether you're a developer, freelancer, merchant, uh, charity also, uh, visit btcpayserver.org. We have some basic info there. Also, we have great documentation, many videos on our YouTube channel. So we record everything so you do not uh, be, need to be technically savvy. And if you face any problems, we are on Telegram, we are on uh, Mattermost, we have chats everywhere, and we'd be happy to help you out if you have any problems with BTC Pay. Great. All right. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Pablo. Uh, let's stay in touch. And if you if you get a chance to come over here in Vienna, I'd love to you know have a, a, a live uh, video interview with you, and uh, maybe even with your team uh, together, and uh, you know like make this you know really uh, make this big. All right, let's let's yes. uh, spread the news. <laughs> I agree. Thanks so much for having me. And I would love to do an interview with the entire BTC Pay team. That would be awesome. That would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Pablo. Yeah, talk to you soon. And thanks. Have a good day. All right. Have a good day. Bye bye. BTC Pay. Bye bye.